Hello everyone. Welcome once again to another tutorial of Power BI for beginners at SlideScope on ColorStack channel. In this video, we will discuss about Power Query in Power BI. The data set used for demonstrated demonstration is Northwind OD data feed, which is available at this URL. And this the source of this URL and all this information is available on Microsoft website learn.microsoft.com and I will provide all these links in the description. So first you should open Power BI desktop and connect to the data set. Since it is an O data feed, so you will click on O data feed. And just paste the URL here and connect. I have demonstrated connecting with O data feed and some information about what is O data in the previous examples also. So, and if you don't know anything, just copy this URL and paste it in your O data feed. So, on this particular feed, a data set is hosted, and then you can simply when you will connect with it, you will see various tables. So this Northwind data is actually data of a trading company. And this company has various products. It has many suppliers. So you can see suppliers. All these suppliers all uh, provide these products. Then we also have shippers who take these products to the customers and uh, they deliver these products to the customers and we have uh, these category of products like beverages, condiments, confections. We also have uh, our customers from various countries and uh, various cities as you can see. So these customers belong to different uh, countries and different continents and then we have employees so these employees receive the orders which customers order and those orders you can see here and their order details are mentioned here we also have information of invoices and everything so We actually did a video uh, on Power BI. Let me skip this ad. So we actually did this video on Power BI, where I joined these eleven tables and demonstrated the working of this particular data set. I will provide the link of this video in description. You can watch this video. To understand how all the tables of this data set are connected with each other. But in this particular chapter, our main purpose is understanding Power Query in Power BI. And again, this is the basic or the part one, which you can say. And in this part one, you will understand basic usage of Power Query in Power BI. We will create a series of videos explaining the use of Power Query, which is a very important tool and a very advanced tool in Power BI. So let's connect uh, customers first of all. So when you select a table from a data set or a database, you have two options in Power BI. Either you can load the data or you can transform the data. If you will load the data, obviously you will be able to create visuals directly. But suppose you need some kind of alterations in data, you need to perform uh, things like group by, uh, you, have, you have to apply group by statements or you want to filter the data, you want to select top n rows, you have to select bottom n rows, you have to replace 
a value in a column with another value so for all of those things you can use power query so let's transform the data and this will open the power query editor for you remember this is power query editor and first i will explain you the different elements of this power query editor so again with the help of learnmicrosoft.com learn.microsoft.com this particular url here you can see we have these five elements which are important to understand this one is called ribbon r i b b o n ribbon and here you will find all important options it is like a menu uh, from where you can access all these options to perform some kind of operations then this second uh, pane is called query pane it is a view of all your available queries then this third view is called a current view this is our current view so here in our data this is our current view it is your main working view which by default displays a preview of the data for your query you can also enable the diagram view along with the data preview view you can also switch between the schema view and the data preview view while maintaining the diagram view which we will learn in the later parts so in the ribbon you have this view tab and in the view tab you have options for this uh, formula bar so you can either show or hide this formula bar you can check on the column distribution to see uh, data like this uh, this is mostly helpful in the case of numerical data we have column profile which will give you count error empty distinct value so currently i have selected the customer id column that's why i am seeing this uh, there is this column where we have many null values so when i will select this you will see i have 60 empty values 19 distinct values 13 uh, unique values and uh, minimum is ak and maximum is wi which is alphabetical order and uh, we don't have any error here so this this particular thing can help you in understanding all of these things currently things like uh, diagram view are only available in power query online we are uh, working with power query desktop so obviously some options will be missing here but uh, this is basic understanding of what you can do here like you can switch between home tab transform tab and add column tab view tab so we will discuss all of these things obviously but uh, this is a basic under this is this video is for giving you basic understanding of power query editor so the first thing that we are going to look in this video is use of group by okay uh, in this short video you will learn use of group by so you can see we have customers from different cities and countries okay now suppose you want to count how many customers are there from each country so you want a table where for example germany is written in front of germany we have written like let's say 10 people from germany london is written and uh, we can see six people from london and so on so either you can choose city or country like if you will do city wise you can see uh, london if you will do country wise you will see uk so for that what you have to do is while loading your data or transforming your data just select that column which you want to group like this is a categorical column we have close to 90 customers and we have close to 90 customers 
and all those custom all these customers belong to different countries so we want to use group by and apply an aggregate function called count so just select your column and here you will find group by and uh, here we have option to use different type of aggregate functions uh, do different type of operations here so here first of all you will select a column and the new column is called count let's say count of people then here is your aggregate function list in from this list suppose you want to count rows you want to find average or sum for example suppose we have list of products belonging to different categories and we want to find out what is the average value or what is the average price of product per category so you can choose average there we'll show these examples in other uh, obviously we'll use other data sets to show this example but here we will use count rows and in column we'll do nothing and just click okay now what this will do you can see here and in germany we have 11 people in mexico we have five and so on and now we have this table and here you can see the applied steps so we have source we have navigation and then we have these applied steps which is grouped rows we have grouped rows by country and then when you will see this option right close and apply so when you will close and apply so you will see here that now in your uh, table you will have only these two columns right count of people and country so this is what you can do right like we can select this and this will create a graph for us so in bar graph it is showing like in usa we have most number of people 13 then in france and then so on we can also use a map chart a field map to show this particular distribution so you can see here so this is how we can do uh, we can put the data here like in location we have country in tooltips we have sum of town so instead of uh, putting data into the tooltips the count of country we will put count of country in legend field here and you will see that with color count will be represented so here you can see 13 is blue let's zoom it so you can see 13 is green which has most number of people then we have 11 which is here germany and france also and then so on so one is the least which is uh, i guess in norway we have only one person so this is a simple example of uh, what we can do with power query editor a very basic thing there is a lot more and a lot a lot more that we can do with power query editor so we will prepare a series of such short videos explaining the purpose of power query editor for different type of data cleaning data transforming steps if you want to go back you can click to transform data and you will see now if you want to uh, if you want to cancel whatever you have done you can simply click here and then you will see your original data and you will close and apply so now you will have your entire data with you obviously this uh, visual will not be valid right now but now you have the data so this is how you can use power query editor uh, we will create more videos related to power query editor please uh, subscribe to our channel so that whenever we will post videos related to power bi or power query editor you will get a notification and you can watch that video and gain some insights from